Good morning. Today is Universal Day. And we're up at 6 a.m. Um, the time went ahead yesterday, so we technically lost an hour of sleep, but we went to bed super early, so that's good. We're going to catch the bus, and our first pit stop is Hagrid's ride. And um, we need to rope drop, so we need to hurry up. We need to catch the bus and we need to get this day started. We are rope dropping. This is, this is my second day. Jurassic Park. So we just did Hagrid's. Um, we didn't wait at all and it had some unexpected things. I watched the videos and there were still some unexpected things. So it was super cool. Now we're in a lesser coaster. Ashley's rubbing sunscreen so we don't burn, but I'm gonna do that after. <laughs> Sticks with breakfast tip we got the kids breakfast and it's pretty large you get two pancakes a croissant a sausage a bacon and a butter beer included in your meal for $12.99 it's a pretty good deal um, so far all the rides have been amazing but the hidden journey ride makes you a little squeezy so we are gonna do our top three rides, but we have only done three so far, so. Oh, out of the three? Ryan, what was your favorite ride so far? Mine goes, the what's the last one, Hidden Journey? Yeah. Hidden Journey, The Lost of Ocean, then Hagrid's. Hagrid's is okay. okay. Mike? Raptor. Second favorite? Mm, what's the first one we did? Hagrid's, Hagrid's Motor. Hagrid's. Yeah. I would like to say Hagrid's, then Velocicoaster, then Hidden Journey, because Hidden Journey, Hidden Journey so made me a little sick. Hidden Journey is so good. Let's check out now. Mommy, Let's eat. Bon appetit. I figured this would be the best place to try my butter beer. Two thumbs up. If you don't have a mask, mustache. If you don't have a mustache, did you really drink the butter beer? We are soaked because we just went through the Jurassic water ride. This is what we had to go through. Yeah, that was us in the front row. I'm soaked. You know what? Captain America. Tell me, where, uh, where are you visiting from? From Canada. We got Toronto. Near Toronto. Yeah, you were so close. 
I got beignets and I am planning on trying the ones on the Disney Wish and we'll see which ones taste better. But I'm really excited about this. Here we go. Mm. Those are really, really good. But we'll see. Do they compare to Disney beignets on the Disney Wish? But that was like a little tasty treat to tie us over until lunch. Finger looking good. Will the tour guide at the universe and you love the white courtesy phone once again? Place. The kids were starving. We didn't even film it because they scarfed it down so fast. They were starving. So we're going to head up this ride and hopefully I get my crate very soon because I am starting to get hungry. We've made a pit stop at Moe's Tavern, and of course, you gotta have a Duff beer, and you gotta have a flaming Moe. Can we keep the glass? All right, who's trying it first? I want to. <laughs> it just tastes like orange. Ryan, trying the flaming Moe. What do you think? It tastes like less fizzy orange flesh. It's quite good. And we get to keep the cup. Oh, you do get to keep the cup? How much was it? 22 dollars for these two cups. Oh, two. I thought you said just Oh, mom, look. The dried ice at the bottom. It's definitely fizzy and definitely orangey. Now the Duff beer. So you have the option of light beer or regular beer. Oh. So I chose regular. Beer. Pretty good. Oh. Do you want more of this ash? Yeah. Do you guys want more? Of this? I would probably prefer the light. I'm just not a hoppy beer person, but it's good. Cheers, Mo. And don't forget to cheers Barney on the way out. Let me get a good glimpse of it. Oh, yeah. Mine's still really hot. I got the muffaletta. Mike got the smoked brisket. Is it good? Mm hmm. Mine's really hot. That was definitely delicious. The muffaletta was spicy. I love spice, it was delicious. However, it was so messy. The sauce melted. It's all over the table. It's all over my hands. It's all over my face. Uh, Mike's, on the other hand, was delicious and a little more sanitary. <laughs> One of our members is down. One of our members is down. One flaming load too many. 
one flaming mo too many. Mike found a friend. Circle down. <laughs> you did not as well. Give me that. You muggle. You're Give a muggle. Hi guys. Mike's trying it again. <laughs> oh! You did it! You're not a muggle. <laughs> Time is at eight. We've done Gringotts. We tried to go on Transformers, but it was down. We went on ET. It was down when we were on it. We got off and got back on. Um, so now we're on the Hogwarts Express, and we're gonna see the light show. And then we are wake up for a cruise tomorrow. Oh, eat dinner. They're hungry again. They're always hungry. Ashley's doing magical spells on me. While we were waiting for the show, I decided I needed to try the frozen butter beer. Waiting for the light show. show was amazing we let the kids go back on Velocicoaster it express passes but it's taking a really long time and I just want to go to bed at this point I'm tired my feet hurt um, but we're still waiting for the kids to get off the Velocicoaster and we still haven't eaten dinner and it's nine o'clock so we need to grab something to eat before everything closes and go to sleep dodo time I think they survived. Brian's got his mac and cheese fried chicken. Huh? Ashley has got a burger over there. We made it. Five minutes to close on time. I'm tired. It's good. The mac and cheese is pretty good. Good fried chicken. And Jurassic World. 
I literally do not know how we're gonna walk onto the cruise tomorrow because our feet hurt so much. So we're going to rest them and eat our food and go to bed probably sleep in but tomorrow is cruise day if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see our future adventures don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow on embarkation day